All right, good day, fight fans. The source for the examiner is here with a rising star of MMA, Big Show MMA's middleweight champion, the undefeated Roger Bowling. Roger, thanks for taking time out, and how are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Good, good. Thanks. Um, so, how have you been, brother? Uh, good, man. Trying to get through these uh, little ass injuries. Uh, broke my hand my last fight, so other than that, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I mean, uh, you were supposed to fight a uh, war machine in September, and um, but you, you injured yeah. your knuckles. Tell us, can you give us any updates on that? Uh, it's doing really well. Uh, I'm scheduled for an MRI. Uh, it's getting better, but not as fast as I would like, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was actually scheduled to fight him on a couple of different occasions. And I broke my uh, wrist, and then I had a fight with Devin Poisson, and I broke my hand, so... It's been unfortunate the only two fights I've ever had to back out were both with the same guy, so. Mm-hmm. I mean, is this, is this uh, like a chronic injury, or is this the first time this has happened? Yeah, this is actually the only two times I've ever had working bone in my life. One was my wrist on my left hand at work, and then one was uh, my three metacarpals on my right hand, uh, my last fight with them, so. Yeah, do you have um, an idea of the time frame for it to heal? Uh, well, actually, um, I was going to fight in November, but uh, I just signed with Strike Force. So, oh, um, congratulations, bro. Thanks, man. I'm going to probably fight um, January. So, it can be time to heal up, train hard, and, uh, you know, get ready for the next year. Awesome, man. I was actually going to ask you about that because um, Jason Appleton himself said that um, he can't afford to get you the caliber opponent that would stand a chance against you over at a uh, big show MMA. And with rumors, um, with the strike for signing, and they're pitting you up with uh, Shamar Bailey, who you beat before. So, yeah, man, um, yeah. can you uh, give us more details about that strike force deal you got? Um. I can't give you all the details. I'm actually the contract's being sent over. I just got off the phone with Jason, like literally a minute before mm-hmm. you called. So uh, the contract's being mailed over to him right now. They were gonna have me fight in November and have them come out and sign me in the cage after my fight or whatever. But since my injury, they're just like, well, let's just go ahead and sign them anyways. So yeah. Should awesome. with them. Ask for Shamar, you know, whatever. You know, I'm not. I'll fight him anytime. Yeah, awesome, man. Congratulations. We'll definitely check you out. We're excited to see you over at uh, Strike Force, bro. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I just want to, uh, you know, I've never been pushed out of the first round yet, and I just want to, like, test myself and, uh, you know, push Ab- myself as hard as I can and get as far as I can go in the sport. So, Absolutely. I'm excited. So, um, uh, War Machine uh, was talking a lot of smack, man. So, will that matchup still happen? Or did he luck out? Uh, <laughs> Um, actually, I don't think Straight Force is looking at him anymore since he just got beat. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, if he would have won, I would love to still fight him. Actually, now that I'm just looking forward to fighting better guys, I think he's like a CC plus fighter. Mm-hmm. I don't think he would have really pushed me out of the first round. I think my style is just, uh, you know, I would have TKO'd him or knocked him out definitely at the first. So, you know, I'm looking on past him and I'll let him, you know, he wants to run his mouth, whatever. You know, I'm not about that. I'd, if I'm going to run my mouth about somebody, I'm at least going to, you know, schedule a fight with them and give them a chance to, you know, defend what I'm saying. But whatever. I'm just looking past it. Yeah, absolutely. You will pro- you will probably just uh, hurt your hand smashing his mouth in, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's what I call him mouth machine. He's far <laughs> from a war machine, dude. Every one of his fights, you know, you'd think with a name like war machine, he'd be pretty impressive or whatever. I think he's... You know, he doesn't impress me anytime I see him fighting. He does more crying than he does fighting. Word, word, word. Same thing here. Um, you're going to be a guest, special guest referee on October 24 at the MMA Big Show. Um, yeah. Can you uh, tell us more about that? Yeah, man. Uh, I do referee for some small shows uh, around the tri-state area as often as I can. I just like to be around the sport. Uh, I love it. And, you know, there's a fight somewhere and they want me to come out I'm there the referee whatever uh, but it's a lot of fun uh, just being in the cage watching you know the guys coming up uh, fight uh, normally I just ref the amateur fights but uh, it's 
just a lot of fun, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Man, you're built like a tank. Tell us uh, how you got that big, man. I mean, can you share us your training regimens or any uh, supplements you take? Yeah, yeah. What'd you say? You're built like a tank, bro. I mean, can you uh, share us your training regimen, your uh, supplements? Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. Um, actually, uh, man, I, I'm from a real small town, um, Neville, Ohio, and there wasn't many people, but there was a group of guys, they had like a workout bar in there. I used to go in there all the time and look up to those guys. They were huge. Mm -hmm. And they let me work out with them and stuff. So I've really been working out with weights since I was like 14. That's all I did. And then wow. I was wanting to be like a bodybuilder before I got into MMA. Mm -hmm. So working out just always been like something I go to do for myself. A lot of MMA guys don't even work out, but mm -hmm. I love it. I get up early every morning, go. It's a stress relief and it just separates me from, you know, everything and I think it really helps me in MMA I'm usually a lot stronger than my opponents Absolutely. and you know I think and, and I revolve my workouts I mix it up uh, now with MMA I do a lot more reps and like timed workouts where it's more of a cardio and muscle fatigue so mm -hmm. yeah I come up with all my own stuff and as far as supplements I take like a lot of uh, uh, Beverly products uh, my sponsor Fight Fuel hooks me up mm -hmm. and gets me uh, you know like Muscle provider, mass maker, amino acids, stuff like that, just to keep me able to uh, get up every day and uh, keep working hard. So, cool, cool, awesome, man. And uh, you also have a, a very impressive boxing background. You're you're nine and as a boxer. Can you tell us a little bit more yeah. about that? Well, yeah, I done some amateur boxing. Uh, I used to uh, uh, my uncles and all them used to you know fight and stuff as I was growing up and they would show me stuff here and there and then after I got out of school I had some uh, amateur boxing um, I wasn't really really skilled I was just you know I loved to fight so I was just going and doing it and I'd always done really well mm -hmm. so uh, you know I never lost and then you know I got to knock a few people out and that's just you know uh, drove, drove me to like want to learn more and get better so yeah what, what made you switch from um Boxing to mixed martial arts. Honestly, like after a boxing match, man, I would take. I don't know if it's maybe just because I wasn't as skilled as some of the other guys. I was more of a slugger. Uh -huh. I would stand toe to toe and just bang me. Yeah. But I wouldn't be there for like thirty minutes after a fight. <laughs> my head was just rattled. Yeah. It hit so much. I'm like, man, I can't do it anymore. Because mm -hmm. it's just, man, that's. I felt, you know, like I was getting punch drunk. You know, you're just out of it for a while after the fight. And yeah. then I just started taking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I just think MMA, man, it's just so much, it takes so much more knowledge and hard work and different levels of uh, martial arts and boxing and, you know, everything. So I just, uh, I really love MMA. Yeah, and your MMA fights have gone so much more faster, too, though. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. people it's out in less than a minute. Yeah, yeah smaller gloves, so. You know, I think if you add up all my professional fights, they're probably like maybe a round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What What advice can you give to kids, especially around the area, who who want to pick up mixed martial arts? Um, just work hard, man, and uh, you know, do it because you love it. Don't do it because you're trying to go out and beat somebody up in the bars or fight somebody in the streets. It's it's a sport, and uh, respect it. All right, right on, Roger. Thank you. And in uh, closing, do you have any uh, messages to your fans out there? Any um, announcements? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, I just want to thank my uh, manager, Jason Appleton. Uh, thank you. Um, my sponsor is Fight Fuel. Uh, actual fighter. Um, Beacon with the Pedics. And uh, just all, all my training partners, everybody at Vision MMA. Thank you guys for helping me and supporting me. Uh, everything's been rough right now. I think my... Uh, uh, Girl Lindsay and uh, my best friend TJ so, for helping me through the, the break of my hand and my dad and stuff passing away. So just uh, oh yep. my condolences thanks. on that, bro. All right, man. All right, thanks, Roger, and um, best of luck to you. We'll definitely watch out for you in the future. All right. All right, man. See ya. Thank you. Take care, bye.